hi everyone welcome to my other video so today i'll be talking about react portals so let's get into it let's first understand why and when you should use react portal so here you can see in this diagram one uh, web page is getting rendered and this yellow boundary is actually one container inside which that uh, any any react application is getting rendered now in this root container i have two components one is show model button now on clicking on this button uh, it will show one model and this model component also is inside this root container here you see the html format of the previous diagram here the root container is this div where the id is root and under this container i have two components that is button and model and here on clicking on this button i will show one model which also is inside this root container now i will show you if you click on the show model button how the model would look like so here you see that the model is rendered inside the root container where the model takes the height and width from its parent element in this case the parent element is a root container so this model is taking height and width of, of the parent container which is the root container so if you want to render a big model which is uh, bigger than this root container then uh, that won't be possible in this case so here in this diagram i'm using a model outside my root container using react portals so react portal actually helps me to inject any component inside the dom which is not a part of any react tree so here in this html format uh, you see that there is one root container which is nothing but a react tree and inside this react tree there is only one button element but you see there is one more tree for modal and the model component is inside this model tree now let's see what will happen if you click on the show model button now in this case the model will be rendered outside of the react tree that means it will take height and width from its parent element here the parent element is nothing but the main html body so it can easily take the height and width from the body and it will show a big model overlapping the react container okay now i will show you how to use react portal in a react project here i have already created a react project using create react app which is running in port 3000 here i will first go to the app.js file and i will delete everything from here and I will type RFC which will create one snippet for react functional component here I will render a button element and a modal component and the modal will be only visible when I will click on the button okay so let's get the button first so here I will write button and inside this the text will be show model so on clicking on the show model button I will simply update one state so for that I need to define the state here the state name will be is open and the function to set the state or update the state will be set open I will use use state here and set the default state as false and on clicking on this button I will set the uh, is open to true okay now here I will create one component that is modal dot jsx okay now in this file i will again write rfc uh, to create one react functional component snippet and then i will import create portal from react dom i will use this create portal right here but before that uh, i will write class name of the model and some div for the model that is model container and i will need one div more for modal body and now uh, here is the simple text inside this that is simple modal 
and here in this component i will take is open as a prop and in app.js file i will import this modal component and i will pass that is open as a props and i will use the state of is open as the value now inside this modal.jsx what i will do is i will simply check if this is open is not true then i will return null because if that is not true nothing will be rendered but if is open is true i will render the model this time i will uh, need the help of create portal and see this create portal actually uh, needs two arguments that is one react node and other one is container so for this uh, react node i have already written this html uh, piece of code and for the container i will write document dot get element by id and here i need to provide some id where it will render this model so for that i need to go to this index.html file and here you see the root div element is here that means whatever i am rendering using react it is being rendered within this root div container see here react dom is taking the id as root and creating a react dom tree and rendering every component inside of it now i will write under div with id model so that the model can be rendered inside of it now if i go back to model.jsx file i will put the id as model to let the react dom know that i want to render this model component outside of the current react tree cool now i will make a simple design of the model component so in model.css file first i will write some css for model the position will be fixed and the z index would be 2 uh, top and left would be 0 and width i will take as 100% uh, and also i will take the height as 100% uh, the background color i will take as rgba 0 0 0 and uh, maybe the alpha 0 0.5 and the overflow would be auto now the model container uh, would be background color would be fe 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 that is kind of white and margin would be 10 percent auto and with would be 50 percent and the padding would be 10 pixel now i'll import this model.css file inside this model.jsx file now i will save everything from here and i will open the browser and if i click on this show model button i can see this model now if i open the developer tools and inspect that element i can see there is two tree one is root and one is model so inside the root tree all the button elements is rendered and inside the model tree i can see this model component which i have just written okay now i'm going back to the vs code here you notice one thing that the model component is a child component of div and this div is nothing but the app component and the app component is entered inside the root container so here react portal is giving the feature to write the model inside the parent app component where the app component is within the react tree but the model is actually getting rendered outside of the react tree so with this feature you can easily pass your values to the model props and render inside model while not taking care of other issues now i will show you one more feature that you get using react portal that is event delegation that means even if you click on the model the event will delegate and trigger the parent component event now let's start writing the code here on clicking on this parent component that is the app component uh, on clicking on this div element i will simply uh, console log one text that is clicked from app so this is the app component so i'm just triggering one on click event and on clicking on this uh, div i will simply log clicked from app going back to the browser i can see the show model button now if i click on that i can see the model along with that 
I can also get the logs from the div element. Why it is happening? Here notice one thing, I'm not clicking on the outer div. I'm just clicking on the button only. But due to event bubbling, the event which is with the div element is also getting triggered. Now let's see what will happen if I click on the model. Here I can see the model. Now clicking on this model, I can see the logs from the div event. So due to event delegation, even if I am clicking on the model, which is outside of the react tree, the parent event delegates that. So I think this video was helpful for you to understand react portal in depth. So thank you for watching.